WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 51, NASDAQ off 62, S&P's down 12. Gold. Gold contract trading up $11.90, $16.52 an ounce. We have silver up 62 cents, $19.74 an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck 80, $88.40 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year flat, 110.18. The 30 year up 17 ticks at 121.01 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 48 ticks, trading 111.478. The euro's at 98. The yen's at 148.17, and the British pound is at 114 to 1 U.S. dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&Ps. It's going to be a little tricky out here, big time. So you take a look at this, and it's like, okay, so you went to a higher high. You know, bottom line is that you have 60 million shares. You know, you're going, in, going into this 100. But you know what? This is, this is, you know, I know we were up big this morning, but this is really a sideways move. That's all this is, man. You know, so... That's not telling me that this thing wants to go south yet. And we go over to the uh, NDX. We take a look at the three Qs. Kind of the same deal, man. Uh, the NDX right now, those three Qs. The three Qs are a better set setup, actually. The three Qs actually are saying that you're going lower with volume, you know. So yesterday we did 47 million. You're at 36 now. You're going to do probably 47, 48. But you're going into big numbers, 77. King Dollar. What do we got with King Dollar? This has been moving around. As it moves around, it moves around the market in a monster way. Look, look at this move out here today, man. This is unbelievable. When the futures were up big time, King Dollar was down. And the bottom line is that that just started beating feet higher again. You know, King Dollar had the low out here this morning at uh, 830 at 110.744. And guess what? You went up 800 ticks. Now, that being said, when we take a look at King Dollar right now, uh, bottom line is that, yeah, it's hard to tell, it's really not a hanging man because what you have is that a hanging man's got to be after an uptrend and we've only had three days up. But it hasn't held, held price, that's the real bottom line. If we go over to the bond market, we take a look at the bond market we have with the bond market right now. Uh, that is flat, the 10 years flat right now, and that hasn't held price either. That's 1.6 million, okay, this is going to probably give us more information than anything right now. Let's look at this. Okay, so that hasn't held price, but yeah, it never tested the high. Yeah, this bond market still wants to go higher. Looks to me like we're in a counter trend bounce in the bond market. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills.